South Africa ranked as one of the most dangerous countries in the world. The latest crime stats suggest South Africa is a crime scene. South Africa is facing a safety crisis at the moment. There is a growing awareness and understanding across the country that policing is not being done well, that there are major challenges with resources, with capability, with technology. On every front, your National Police Service is struggling. Whenever we visit communities, we hear the sentiment that many are living in fear, many are afraid to even go to the shop. There is clearly a significant spike in the amount of violent crime that communities and, and people and families are experiencing in South Africa. The National Commissioner is on record that SAPS does not have the resources to fulfill their mandate. The South African Police Service and the National Government is broken. It no longer serves the communities that it is meant to serve. I think we've increasingly accepted that the cavalry is not coming, help is not going to arrive. But we are not going to simply throw up our hands and say, well, this is SAPS's job. We could no longer sit back and say this is the national government's problem. The city of Cape Town and the Western Cape government has had to step up to be able to keep communities in this province safe. Our big interventions are in two streams. Firstly, more boots on the ground in the worst affected communities. Our partnership with the city of Cape Town deployed an additional amount of law enforcement officers, what we commonly refer to as LEAP officers. LEAP is a joint project between the city and the province to put 1,100 extra boots on the ground. And this year alone, the city's putting an extra 230 officers on top of that in the field. The primary focus of LEAP has been crime prevention. They have targeted contact crime and violent crime, taking firearms off the street between Metro Police and LEAP. They have removed, in the last two years, 222 firearms from the streets of Cape Town. Our second big track of investment, and I think this is really exciting for the future, is in crime-fighting technology to get us right to the cutting edge of global crime-fighting tech. Whether that be drone surveillance of our city 24 hours a day so that we can have eyes on incidents and track suspects, body cameras or dashboard cameras for all of our offices and vehicles, tens of millions more in CCTV cameras around the city, and bringing it all together in a brand new high-tech control room in the city that will manage all of our offices and resources, get the best intel to offices where they are. These tech investments over the next few years will really meaningfully make people feel safer in Cape Town. Neighborhood watches are an absolutely invaluable part of the community. They do a wonderful job just creating an atmosphere of safety. In the city we have at this stage around 25,000 neighborhood watch members. We provide funding, training and assistance to CPFs because they are the middle men and women between communities and the police service. So we recruit them into our law enforcement auxiliary service. It's the only police reserve service run by a local authority in South Africa. In the last quarter alone, these reservists have clocked up 4,000 hours of patrolling. The relationships we have built with the neighborhood watches have been vital in building the trust between our communities and police. If we can bring crime down, and make people feel a sense that this is not a place where they have to walk in fear or live in constant state of anxiety inside their own homes or communities, then we will have achieved something positive and move closer towards that purpose of giving people a sense of hopefulness for the future. We have seen Nyanga move from being the murder capital of the country to a steady decline of the crime statistics, something that this community so desperately needed. We've also seen an area like Cryfontaine, which saw a 40.5% reduction in the murder rate. Police stations uh, across the city showing quarter on quarter over the last year improvements in their crime stats. South Africa desperately needs a police service that is professional, that is well-trained, that cares and is in touch with the people that it serves. So that the trust can ultimately be restored between those that should be serving and protecting our residents and those that need it the very most. Policing should be run close as possible to the communities that have to benefit from that policing. And in the Western Cape we are saying we are ready for that. We have proven that we are very able to run the police, more so than national government. We are going to go into that space, do more ourselves, continue to invest, continue to work with residents and neighborhood watchers until we get the outcome that we need, which is crime coming down in Cape Town and people feeling safer.